Good evening, everyone. Happy Thursday. How are you? Hi, hi, Anita. Luis, hi, Carmen. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Very teacher. Yay. We're on Thursday, so we're having one more class tomorrow, and we have completed two weeks already, right? De las cuatro semanas que hora módulo, ya mañana completamos la, la, la primera mitad. Así que dos semanitas más, y ustedes van para intermedio. <laughs> no, creo oh, que es yeah. para... <laughs> <laughs> La idea es <laughs> advancing. <laughs> y usted no está preparado. <laughs> No, como no, la mayoría está on point. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Veíamos la plataforma. Como ahora es jueves, en la plataforma, es si puedo mostrar. Uy, octubre. Yo siento que octubre va, pero volando. Así hubiera pasado. ¿Cuál es realmente bien largo? Agosto. <laughs> Todos los días era gusto. <laughs> All right. So we have second week. Quedamos en que vamos a hacer la del día de ayer, la del día miércoles, y la que corresponde al día de ahora, día jueves. Vamos a hacer los dos ahora en vez de hacer la mañana, la de jueves. Porque mañana viernes haríamos la tarea que corresponde viernes y el examen de medio módulo. ¿Okay? Lo vamos a hacer juntos ahí para que ustedes lo puedan ir contestando en el momento o si le quieren tomar captura y lo hacen en el sábado, en la mañana. ¿sí? Ahorita estamos entonces en la tarea 8 que corresponde el día miércoles de la semana 2, que sería para nosotros la clase de anoche. ¿okay? Entonces, tenemos Answer the following questions about daily routine activities. Number one, what do you do in the morning? Take a shower. Take a shower. Correct. Por si acaso, supper es dinner. Supper es lo mismo que dinner. ¿Okay? Así que no puede ser eso en la mañana. <laughs> Number two. I go to the park. Uh, in the morning. Pues, yeah. In the morning. At night. Okay. Ya yeah, vamos a ver. Number three. Do you go to work every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Correct. Sí, le oí que la pregunta es do or does, contesto con el mismo. Si es el verbo to be, contesto con el verbo to be, right? Perfect. Number four, does she brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Right. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Number five, I the bath at 7 a.m. I take, take. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Es el único que no está en tercera persona. Okay. Then we hit a 20, enviar, y tendríamos 20 out of 20, ¿ok? Y sería completando ya la tarea del día miércoles, ¿ok? Entonces, at night, sería acá. Uh, no, sorry, in the morning. I go to the, the park morning. in the morning. Uh -huh. Hace más sentido realmente. <laughs> at night. At night, eh, gramaticalmente está correcto, pero no es tanto que pasa en el día. <laughs> All right, we have number nine, homework number nine. Y correspondería a esta noche. Porque en teoría la tendríamos que hacer hasta después de la clase. No, no la vamos a hacer ahorita, ¿ok? Así que la número uno va a ser wakes. He wakes. She up. wakes. Wakes up. Uh -huh. Eso va a ser el primero. He wakes. He wakes. He wakes up. En la uno. He wakes up. Luego en la dos. He takes a shower. Takes a shower. Takes a shower. Okay. Luego en la número tres, he brushes his teeth. He brushes his teeth. Uh -huh. He brushes his teeth. En la número cuatro, he shaves. He shaves. Uh -huh. He shaves. Luego le seleccionan, le den enviar y le va a aparecer 20 de minutos también. Y con eso ustedes ya completarían hasta el, hasta el día de ahora. ¿eh? Las tareas. Eso es para los que va los que quieren llevarlo como al día. ¿ya? ¿Ok? Based on that. So. Students, manos. Se nos quedó algo pendiente. Ok. I'm going to share the screen with you. Le voy a compartir la pantalla en un minuto.
Ahora, se lo que cargue esto. Me dicen si ya lo ven. Okay. Yes. All right. We have some questions here. They can be yes or no questions, most of them here. La de, y acá van yes or no questions combinadas, verbos de acción y verbo to be. Por ejemplo, does Mrs. Brown live in California? Yes, she does. Are Shelly and Thomas tired? No, they aren't. Okay. Y la idea es que ustedes puedan irles contestando rápido. ¿sí? Que vayan rápido, que vayan casi que inmediato la respuesta. ¿okay? Entonces vamos con el número tres. Do penguins live at the North Pole? No, they don't. No, they don't, right? No, they don't. Do penguins live at the North Pole? No, they don't. Number four. No, they don't. Does your father work in an office? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does. He does. Yes, he does. Oh. Yes, he does. Yeah. Number five. Is Ottawa the capital city of Canada? Yes, it yes, is. It is. Yes, yes, it is, correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Number six. Yes, number six. Uh, number five, yes, it is. Number six. Are we late? No, we aren't. Correct. No, we aren't. Number seven. Does Robert live in London? No, he no, doesn't. He doesn't. That's it. No, she does. Okay, number eight. Is dinner ready? No, it isn't. No, it's not. No, it no, isn't. It's not. Correct. Las dos están bien. Perfect. Las dos. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. Number eight. Uh, no, number nine. Do you like to read? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Are they from New Zealand? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Are rabbits are they, dangerous? No, no I'm not. they aren't. No, they aren't, or no, they are not. Is Brazil in Asia? No, it no, isn't. No, it isn't. Does she drive? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. yes, she yes, does. She does. Is yes, Mr. Does. Smith a teacher? Yes, yes she, she he is. is. He is, Mr. Yes, he yes. is. Mm -hmm. Number fifteen. Do they know the answer? No, they don't. Correct. They don't. No, they don't. Number sixteen. Do you know how, you know how to sing? No, I don't. Correct. No, I do not. Or no, I don't. Number seventeen. Are you angry? No, I am. No, you are. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Esta es la que les decía. No, en primera contesta en segundo. En Si te preguntan en segunda, contestas en primera, ¿ok? Right? ¿Tú estás okay. enojado? No, yo no estoy enojado, okay. ¿ok? Right? Number 18. ¿Is Dubai in the Middle East? Yes, it is. Correct. Yes, it is. Does, she, does the cake taste good? Does yes, cake... it does. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, it does. That is correct. Yes, it does. And number 20. ¿Are they here? No, they aren't. Perfect. No, they aren't, right? Very no, good. Are. Okay. So now, listen, we have this exercise. We have to put the steps in order. <coughs> Quiero que le den un vistazo a esto. Y les voy a dar cinco minutos a las 16 para que me digan cuál sería el orden correcto de los pasos. Cuál sería el primer paso, cuál sería el siguiente, hasta el último. En el orden de los eventos. Cómo los organizarían ustedes. Ok. Tienen cinco minutos, esto es individual. Ok, solo véanlo y vayan organizando los pasos ustedes en su cabeza, con cuál creen que va según el orden. Ok, cuál es el primero y cuál es el último, y así. Ok, tienen cinco minutos, esto es individual. Cuando pasan los cinco minutos, les voy a ir preguntando cuál cree usted que es el primero, el segundo, el tercero, y así.
Ok, let's hear those steps. Vamos a escuchar, según ustedes, obviamente el primero es el título, ¿verdad? <laughs> How to make a pizza. What would, be the, what would be the first step? ¿Cuál sería el primer paso para ustedes? Wash your hands. Definitely, wash your hands would be the first part, the first step. The second step? Put on your, your apron. Apron. Put, apron. Put, your apron. Put on your apron. apron. Good. Okay. Makes sense. Tiene lógica. What would be number three? Make, make the dough. Make the dough. dough. Okay. Make, make, make the dough. dough. Mm -hmm. Correct. Number four? Roll, Roll out the Roll dough. Out the dough. Roll the dough. Roll the dough. Roll the dough. Roll the dough. Correct. Primero, make the dough. Haga la masa. Dough es masa. Y luego, okay. roll out the dough. Pire la masa. Right? Roll out the dough into a round shape. En una forma. Ronda. Ok. Y luego? Put your toppings on the pizza. Spread tomato sauce on the dough. Mm -hmm. Spread tomato sauce on the dough. Correct. La base de la, la salsa. Uh -huh. Después? Mm -hmm. Put your toppings on the pizza. Put your toppings. Luego, raya el queso encima, right? Break the cheese and sprinkle on top. Luego, bake the oven on the cooked wheel. All right, horne en el horno. Bake in the oven until cooked well. Y, when ready, cut into slices. Right, in it perfect. That's the step by step how to make a pizza. All right, if you remember, guys, I told you at the beginning that you one of the many scenarios where you can just simple present is to give instructions to other people. Right, uno de los muchos escenarios que hay es dar instrucciones en presente simple. Uno de los escenarios donde yo ocupo presente simple es para dar instrucción. Okay. A continuación, ustedes van a entrar a las salas y van a escribir las instrucciones, el paso a paso de cómo hacer una receta completa. ¿okay? La idea es que sea una receta completa, que no vaya a ser algo demasiado fácil. Por ejemplo, cómo hacer café. Ponga agua, ponga café. Right? Eso no. <risa> no. Please try to be creative. Traten de ser creativos. La idea es que puedan hacer resemblanza como un TV show de cocina, como esos programas de cocina. Okay, first thing you're going to need. Okay, welcome to the show. Today we're going to cook chicken soup, Salvadorian style chicken soup, okay? Y luego empiezo. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need or that you need, entonces, the first thing that you need is obviously vegetables. In El Salvador, we like to use vegetables like carrot, potato, corn, and one that is called chayote the whiskey para nosotros, right? So those are the ingredients. Also rice. In El Salvador, we put rice in the chicken soup. In El Salvador, le ponemos arroz a la sopa de pollo. We use rice inside the chicken soup. And obviously, you need chicken, right? You can use any part of the chicken or you can buy a, a whole chicken. Y así van, okay? La idea es que no solo digan los pasos, sino que vayan explicando, okay? Tratan de hacerlo lo más ameno posible. Traten de hacerlo lo más ameno posible, que sea lo más conversacional, como que le están hablando al público, right? Van a estar en parejas, así que distribuyen, se vaya, yo voy a decir esto, yo usted dice esto, y si necesitan más tiempo después de los 15 minutos para practicar, ustedes me dejan saber. Si no está bien, si terminan antes de los 15 minutos, practiquen, repasen para que cuando entremos acá, a la principal, no se queden en silencio, le toca, le toca, <ríe> all right? Vuelvo y repito que no sea una, una receta tan cortita, ¿ok? Ojo, no la busquen de internet. Es bien fácil darse cuenta cuando la han googleado. <ríe> Traten de hacerlo ustedes, ¿ok? Traten de hacerlo ustedes. Obviamente, si necesitan traducir algunas cosas, pueden hacerlo, pero no copien toda una receta literal, ¿ok? A eso voy. Van a tener 15 minutos a partir de este momento. Vamos a ver esas recetas con las que vienen al final. Las salas están abiertas, pueden ingresar ahora. Tienen 15 minutos.
Ay, Eric. <ríe> Le comento, acaban de entrar a la sala sus compañeros. En la actividad que están haciendo es escribiendo lo, el paso a paso de una receta de comida. Va, dando instrucciones con present simple, escribiendo los pasos de una receta de comida y que ellos van a inventar. Lo, si gusta, lo agrego a una de las salas. Acaban de entrar ellos. ¿Cómo, cómo se hace? Está bien. Ok, vaya, permítame. Solo quiero ver. Tengo Luis Escarate y Oswaldo Salguero. Almi... Lo voy a poner con Almita y Zulma. Siento que ellas necesitan más apoyo. Okay. Va, está bien. Thank ok. You. Ahorita.
Okay, we're all back right now. Estamos de regreso. Perfect. Let's begin listening to the first one. Just a moment. Tenemos a la sala uno, a Luis Escarate y Eduardo Salguero. Vamos con ustedes, sala uno, please. Okay. Good evening, guys. In this moment, I went um, how to prepare pupusas. It's favorite favorite for, for, for the Salvadorian, typical Salvadorian foods. Okay. Uh, first, uh, wash my hands. Okay, it's indispensable. Wash my hands and close the, uh, the and close to cook. Close to cook. Okay. Again, uh, cook the cook the after wash. Cook the, Prepare dough, prepare dough, and um, cook the cook the the corn. Cook the corn, cook the corn, and the, after go to the meal and prepare the dough. Go to the meal and prepare the dough. The dough. After cook, cook the beans, cook the ayote, uh, other vegetables, and the principal is pork kind. Okay. Continues, Luis. Later, take the dog and start to prepare a base with our fingers and our ends. And agree the beans, a pork grain, and vegetables. And don't forget the cheese. After, with all ingredients and dog, clap each one. After putting a kitchen and wait. Finally, take a pupusa and eat with deep tomato. Finish. All right, thank you. I like it. It was very fluent, very confident, and also you were using simple present on point. No escuché ningún error gramatical, así que muy buen trabajo, Sala Uno. Estuvieron hablando con bastante fluidez, muy buena entonación, así que vamos adelante, muy bien. Vamos Thanks. ahora, yes. ahora vamos con la sala 2, tenemos a Almita, Eric y Surma, por favor. Eh, inicia. Voy a decir yo lo, lo último de... de ok, de, entonces... Then hit the oven. oven. Que inicie, inicia usted, Surmita. Hola. Hola, hola, aquí estoy. Ok. ¿Inicia usted o yo? Uh, si quiere, inicie los tres primeros pasos usted. Ok. Uh -huh. Dos tendría que ser. Dos. Ajá, y usted, sí, sí. Este, uh -huh. usted el tercero. Vale. Okay. How to make a bacon chicken. First by the chicken and wash your hands put your marinade with mustard pepper garlic and salt the sauce I prepared tomato, onion and chili we have the oven. Hasta ahí, ¿no? Three y four passes. <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> sí, hasta ahí. Then put the chicken in the big bowl and put the sauce. Then cook it for 45 minutes. It's finally. Ah, oh, permíteme. <laughs> eh, teacher, uh, secret ingredient. Okay. Salvadorian relaxio. <laughs> Finish. No. That's a very <laughs> secret ingredient indeed. <laughs> Muy cierto, very secret. Okay, thank you, room number two. I'll no make... nos alcanzó el tiempo, pero, pero improvisamos. <laughs> <laughs> Then eso se trata. 
es que final nos, del em día. Sí, nos emocionamos con el pollo horneado, nos dio deseos. <laughs> well, that's the point, that's my point. In real life, when you're speaking English, when you're speaking English, you don't have everything planned. Uh -huh. You don't always know what you're going to say. En la vida real, cuando ustedes están hablando inglés, no tienen todo planeado y cuadriculado en un cuaderno, ¿verdad? En la vida real, usted va a hablar en el momento con las estructuras, obviamente, y el conocimiento que ya va a tener. Y de eso se trata. Escucho, presto atención, me adapto, ¿verdad? Contesto. Y eso es lo que ustedes hicieron, así que muy buen trabajo, hasta la dos. <ríe> También las estructuras las usaron correctamente, así que éxito. Gracias, teacher. Uh -huh. Luego vamos con la sala 3. Tenemos a Carmen Hernández y a César Heriberto, por favor. Ok, César, usted empieza con el nombre de la receta, los ingredientes, y hace el paso 3 y luego continúo yo. Está bien. How to make a soft beef. Eh, te diré el paso 2. César, los ingredientes. Los ingredientes no los tengo. Ok, empiezo yo entonces. Sí. Uh, how to make big soup Salvadorian style. We need a lot of vegetables like uh, one cabbage, two carrots, one pound of potatoes, two yucas, three corn, two pounds of beef, and two bananas. Ahora sí, César, usted hace el paso tres. Number three. Wash your hands. El cuatro. Uh, we cut all vegetable into pieces. Number five. Put the meat in a put with water over long heat. Uh -huh. When the meat is soft, we add the soup and all put vegetables in the pot and we let everything cook. After that, everything is ready to enjoy the beef soup. You can accompany with uh, hot tortillas, lemon and chili. Enjoy it. That's all. All right, I love it. Straight to the point. <laughs> Direct and very well, and well done. Very good. Okay, muy buen trabajo, Sala 3. Esas estructuras igual estuvieron usadas correctas, no escuché ningún error en estructura, así que muy buen trabajo, bastante fluido. Y también el intonation, right? It sounded like you were speaking naturally, so muy buen trabajo. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you. Les voy a compartir un audio. Give me one moment. Vamos a hacer un poco de listening. Okay. Y tenemos este que es college life. College life. Okay. And we have the free listening exercise. It says whether. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el pre-listening? Pre-listening. Vamos, volunteers. En esta palabra de ahí se dice whether. Ok, please, Eric. Whether you are try, trying, trying, uh -huh. trying to get an online MBA or just going to a local college. There are a number of things you have to consi consider, including location, cost, and the re reputation of a school. What factor is most important to you? All right. So, whether or, y esto lo pueden utilizar ustedes para conversación o para vocabulario más adelante. Whether or. Cuando voy a dar más de una opción, puedo decir ya sea uno o lo otro. Entonces yo digo ya sea y menciono la primera opción o y menciono la segunda opción. Ok, eso lo pueden ocupar en cualquier escenario donde ustedes quieran decir ya sea esto o lo otro. Ok, 
whether in El Salvador, whether it's hot in winter or it's hot in summer, right? En El Salvador ya sea, ya hace calor en el invierno o en el verano, siempre hace calor, right? Siempre que quieren mencionar dos opciones así, ya sea esto o lo otro, por ejemplo, you have two options, whether you go to the beach on Saturday or you go to the park, okay? Tienes dos opciones, el sábado, ya sea que vayas a la playa o vas al parque, right? Entonces eso, whether es ya sea, y después mencionan la primera opción, or, o la segunda opción. O bien, si ustedes la presentan en conversación, ¿ok? Entonces nos dicen, ya sea que estamos tratando de obtener una licenciatura, enviando a una universidad local, o cualquier grado de, de educación superior, dice que hay que considerar cosas como la ubicación, location, the cost, and the reputation of the school, right? If it's if the school has bad reputation, probably we don't want to go there, right? So what factor is more important to you? ¿Qué factor es más importante para ustedes a la hora de escoger dónde van a estudiar educación superior? Si es de ustedes o sus hijos o sus sobrinos, en general, en general, ¿cuál creen ustedes que es un factor que es más importante? What factor is most important to you? In my case, in my case, I think the most important factor is that they have updated education. Que tengan educación actualizada. To me, that's the most important factor. It doesn't matter if they are far, the location, I don't care so much because I have to look somewhere around my house, right? In my area. And the cost, the cost can vary. The cost of pueden variar, right? It's bad if they have out data, si tienen información desactualizada, y eso se lo voy a poner también para vocabulario. Outdated. Out. If they have outdated information, probably I don't want to be there. But if they have updated, then I want to be there. Okay? Suenan bien parecido. Out y la otra es up. Outdated, updated, right? Una, y ahí se los puse en el chat de Zoom para que lo puedan ocupar como vocabulario. So in my case, I think that's the most important part. Uh, when you are choosing uh, a university, right? Cuando estás escogiendo una universidad, when you are choosing a university, that they have updated information, that they are giving you modern education, right? Not education from the old school. What about you guys? Quiero oír sus opiniones. What is the most important thing to you? What is the most important factor when choosing a university in your case? Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que escriban esta respuesta y luego la comparten. Cada uno de ustedes va a compartir su respuesta. La pregunta la vamos a hacer más corta porque ya está bien larga, ¿ok? What is the most important factor for you? when choosing a university. Eso les puse en el chat. ¿Cuál es el factor más importante para cada uno de ustedes cuando se escoge una universidad? When choosing a university. Y si se fijaron, yo lo, yo lo dije en presente simple, como dando mi opinión, right? To me, the most important factor is that they have updated information, right? To me, it's really, it's really important that they can teach you modern education, right? I don't want to have information that is not valid on these days or information that has changed, right? Entonces, lo mantenemos en presente para dar nuestra respuesta. Tienen cinco minutos para escribirla y cada uno de ustedes va a dar su respuesta individual, ¿ok?
teacher? Yes. Ah, la respuesta va a ser según lo que nosotros personalmente Uh pensemos, ¿ok? -huh. Yes, correcto. Sí. Okay. Si necesitan ayuda con vocabulario, me dicen. Ok, thank you. Okay, if you have your answers ready, let's listen to them. Ya tienen, los que ya tienen su respuesta completa, levanten la mano y vamos a escucharlos. Si no, igual tienen un par de minutos todavía, hasta las ocho. Ready. Okay. I'm ready. Perfect. Empecemos con Zulma, por favor. Let's hear your answer. What is the most important factor for you, Zulma, when choosing a university? The uh, popular university. Good concept. Um, that is close. Mm -hmm. That is close to my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, not very expensive. All right, very good. Different points, Zulma. Muy buen, muy buen trabajo. Thank you. Eh, vamos con Thank Carmen, you, por sir. favor. Mm -hmm. Ready. Okay. In my opinion, the most important factor to choose an university is updated information about the mayor I want to study. If all the teacher in my area. Have enough and properly knowledge to teach me all competencies to enter the world of work. Another factor could be demand in the market and the opportunities that the university provides to students for their development. All right, very complete answer, Carmen. Thank you. 
very well used of the simple present also. Thank you. I need that, please. Okay. To me, the most important is a choose a university, is a formal education, and the classroom comfortable, good price, and good concept. Very good. I love it. Also, very fluent, simple present, toda la estructura correcta. Thank you, Almita. Vamos you. con Eric, please. Okay. For me, it is important, important because of the specialization of the career and cost of the university. Okay. Only. Those are important. Okay. Specialization and cost of the university. Very good, Eric. Thank you. What about Luis? To me, the most important is the time free for to do other things in the day and the opportunities to work in the way. Very good. Having free time to do other things. Like you don't want to be all day in the university, right? Very good, Luis. Thank you. Oswaldo, please. Okay. For me, I consider the situation economic is one, mm -hmm. but uh, the cost is very important. The cost and uh, the reputation of the school. Mm -hmm. It is included, um, it's possible you uh, get, uh, get other job depend mm -hmm. of the school to how much is it that you graduate from that the depend of the school you have a uh, open open other doors mm -hmm. possible totally very good answer as well thank you and then we're gonna listen to this out of place for me it's very important to have the university near me good quality and low cost all right, very good. Having the university nearby your area, it's important because you save money in transportation, right? So that keeps, even if the university is a little bit more expensive, but you're not wasting money in transportation. So it's a win-win side, right? Very good, says that also, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna check the idioms that we have here. Recuerden que los idioms son dichos, right? Son dichos que para nosotros no, no se traducen literal, tienen un significado en particular. ¿sí? Y tenemos el primero, miren, a walking encyclo encyclopedia. A walking encyclopedia. Right? Una enciclopedia andante. Right? Someone who seems to know everything. Alguien que pretende o parece saber todo. Sabelo todo para nosotros, right? Ah, sabelo todo. Todo lo. Exactly, todo lo. So that's a walking encyclopedia, right? A walking encyclopedia. Casi tengo años de no usar esa palabra. Así que. A walking encyclopedia, right? Y miren, acá hay un ejemplo. My roommate would do well in a trivia game show. He's a walking encyclopedia, right? O... I don't like that person. He's a walking encyclopedia. He's always telling the stories from the books, right? Lo pueden utilizar con escuchen que les dicen, ah, tal persona es a walking encyclopedia. Entonces están diciendo que es un saberlo todo. Number two, have the right stuff. Este es otro que ustedes pueden utilizar en conversación. Tener lo necesario. Have the right stuff. Tener lo necesario. Okay. Y justo se traduce el significado tener las habilidades necesarias para el éxito, ¿ok? Tener las, las habilidades necesarias para llegar al éxito, ¿ok? En cualquier actividad en general. Tenemos el ejemplo, Susan has the right stuff to get into any school she chooses, ¿okay? Ella tiene lo necesario para entrar a cualquier escuela que es por, ¿ok? You have the right stuff to buy whatever you want, porque you have the money, ¿right? So, ustedes lo pueden usar en cualquier contexto, donde quieran decir que la persona tiene lo que se necesita, ¿ok? Para lo que está buscando hacer, ¿ok? Walking encyclopedia and have the right stuff. All right, now we're going to do the listening exercise. So please, right now, just let's just pay attention to the listening part. Se escucha el audio. 
Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly, and the pay isn't bad. Okay. First of all, let's point out. Primero que todo, hay que notar. No están hablando en present simple solamente. Está, ellos hablan un, como toda conversación normal, diferentes versiones de tiempo gramaticales, right? Desde presente, pasado, eh, presente progresivo y tiempo perfecto, ¿ok? Así que de eso se trata. Si se fijan en una conversación, no es un solo tiempo que vamos a usar siempre, ¿ok? Si sí, hay ese escenario donde si solo en un tiempo se puede hacer, como ahorita, ¿verdad? Dar instrucciones o el paso a paso de cómo hacer una receta, simple present, porque de verdad no ocupábamos más, no se necesitaba más, ¿ok? So now that we did the listening, vamos a hacerlo una vez más el listening, pero esta vez con el script, ¿ok? We're going to do it with the script. Con el guión. Y lo van a ir escuchando y lo van a ir viendo, ¿ok? Ahorita solamente eso vamos a hacer, como segunda ronda de lista. Oh, hi Dave, long time no see. Hi Maria, I was in the neighborhood so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. All right. So now we're going to do the listening script. Okay, vamos a leer nosotros el listening script. Ya escucharon y vieron la pronunciación de la mayoría de las palabras de Maria. Ocupamos voluntarios, uno para ser María y otro para ser Dave. Y los demás vamos poniéndole atención a todos los detalles porque vamos a contestar las preguntas después. Okay. Eric, please, nos ayuda leyendo Dave. And we need one volunteer for, Al for Maria. Carmen, Me? please. Nos ayuda con Le Mari. All right, let's start in this. Okay. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time to see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite will be fine. Ooh, so how 
How how you been? Uh, not bad. And you? <clears throat> you? Oh, I enjoy it okay, but school has been really hectic. Hectic. Hectic this day, and I have haven't have time to relax. By the way, what's your mayor anyway? Hotel Magnamen. Management. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Oh, I haven't des decided for sure, but I think it like to work for a hotel or travel agency in in this area. Area. Mm -hmm. area how about you? Well, when I first started college, I want to major in French, but I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science with the right skills. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be a difficult as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through through school? Through school. Through, through school. Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship that pays for all my tuition. tuition. Mm -hmm. tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah, how about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at the restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I am a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Perfect, very good. Okay, before we move on, vocabulary. Tuition. Tuition es matrícula. Tuition es la matrícula. ¿Y hectic teacher? Hectic quiere decir agitado, muy ocupado. Estos días han estado agitados, como muy ocupados. Hectic. Y luego tenemos major. Major es la especialización en una carrera. ¿okay? Entonces, ¿cuál es tu especialización? Ah, estaba en esto, pero me cambié de especialización. ¿okay? Y así. ¿okay? Y landing a job, conseguir un trabajo. ¿okay? Landing a job, conseguir un trabajo. Ok. Realize. Hasta acá. Aquí porque está en pasado. Hasta acá. Realize. Hasta la E en presente. Realize. Y quiere decir darse cuenta. In English, la palabra realize no quiere decir realizar como en español. Realize in English quiere decir darse cuenta. Pero me di cuenta que iba a ser difícil conseguir trabajo usando el, el francés, ¿verdad? Entonces me cambié de especialización. Realize, darse cuenta. Ok. So, now we're going to answer the questions related to this. Vamos a contestar las preguntas de este listening. Ok. Y tenemos acá. La número uno. What does the man what to do, want to do after he graduates? He wants to work at a hotel, hotel. He wants to work at a hotel. And that is correct. He wants to work in a hotel in the area. This is not right. Number two. What is the woman's major? Computer design. Computer science. Okay. Correct. Hablo de dos, pero el que está actualmente dijo. Estoy estudiando francés. Computer science. Exactly. Number three. How does the woman pay for college? She received, received a scholarship. Correct. She received a scholarship. Right? Una, be una beca. Scholarship, mm -hmm. una beca. Uh -huh. And then number five, where does the man work part-time? At the restaurant. At the restaurant. That is correct. He works at a restaurant, right? He's a cook. A cook is un cocinero. Chef es alguien que se especializó, estudió para ser chef, right? Pero cook, no el verbo cocinar. Cook 
también es cocinero. Alguien que se dedica a la cocina, pero no es chef, right? Number six. What thing did the man not say about his job? De estas cosas, ¿cuál fue la que él no dijo sobre su trabajo? He works long he works hours. hours. Exactly. El otro no sí las mencionó. Pero no sí dijo. <laughs> People yeah. are friendly and they pay. Very good listening. Nice job, guys. Okay. So that was the activity four. Simple present and listening. Okay, that was for, for the listening portion. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you guys. Ayer ustedes estaban hablando del daily routine de uno de cada uno de ustedes dentro de las salas, right? So, ahora van a hacer lo mismo, daily routines en tercera persona, pero van a hablar de terceras personas del otro que está en la sala. Por ejemplo, si a mí me toca en la sala con Almita, yo le voy a contar a Almita, my mother's daily routine, ¿ok? Entonces, Alma va a decir, this is Vicris mother daily routine. Esta es la rutina de la mamá de Vicris, ¿ok? Right? This is Vicris daily routine, Vicris mother daily routine. Dicen el nombre de la persona, apóstrofe S, y el parentesco de la otra persona, ¿ok? Así lo hacen posesivo. This is Vicris mother daily routine, ¿ok? Y ya empiezo yo y le cuento a Alma. Yo le voy a narrar a Alma en tercera persona y ella lo va a anotar en tercera persona también y luego lo va a venir a compartir, ¿ok? Ok, Almita, my mother wake up at 6 a.m. Every, every day, Monday to Friday. She has to be at the school at 7.30 So she does not have too much time in the morning to prepare breakfast or to make all the things, right? So usually she wakes up at 6 a.m. She takes a shower really fast and then she cooks breakfast only for herself. My mother does not cook breakfast for the family <laughs> because she doesn't have time. She only cooks breakfast for herself. Then at 7 o'clock, She leaves the house and she goes to work because she starts at 7.30. My mother is a teacher, is a public school teacher. So she has a lot of students under her custody, right? She has to be prepared for every situation and she has to plan the classes, right? Yo le estoy narrando a Almita y Almita cuando regresemos va a decir, okay, Vicky's mother daily routine. Her mother, okay, but it's in the third person. Sobre una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Right? Her mother, su mamá, her mother, o puede decir Vicris mother, como prefiera, her mother wakes up at 6 a.m. in the morning. She doesn't have too much time, y el va a repetir, o mencionar en tercera persona lo que ella le dijo, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita que entren a las salas. Le voy a dar 15 minutos, traten de que sea detallado, ¿ok? Traten de no sea 3, 4 oraciones, es demasiado poco. No estamos practicando lo suficiente en ese, en ese aspecto específico. Así que traten de que sea lo más detallado posible y lo más variado también, ¿verdad? Y la otra persona, pues, ojo, oh, tomar nota. Tanto si hay dos personas en la sala, el uno dice del, del familiar del otro y allí se versa. Si hay tres personas, pues hacen la ronda, right Yo digo la de tu familiar, tú la de mi familiar y, y tú la del de familiar. ¿no? Right? Así. Las salas van a estar abiertas a partir de este momento, tienen 15 minutos. ¿Okay?
hello Hello, teacher. Hello.
Hello. We're all back. Estamos de regreso. Ya estamos completos. Ok. So, escuchamos a la sala 1. Tenemos a Eric, Oswaldo y Furman Evangelina. Go ahead. Okay. Pues. okay. I talk about the Darwin routines. Darwin is a son of the Suma. Okay. Darwin, he, he wake up, wakes up at 3, 6 hours, 30 minutes a.m. Mm -hmm. He takes a shower, put her clothes. His. Pardon, put his clothes mm -hmm. and for, for go to the school. After drink, after drink a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. coffee milk, okay. All right. And uh, he goes to the school at seven hours, twenty minutes. Okay. Uh, he returns to home at twelve o'clock. Okay. Take a dinner. Takes a dinner. Take a break. Uh, after take a dinner, take a break to one hour, take a break. And at 2 p.m., make a homework. This is okay. the day of the Darwin's song. All right, that's good. Very well spoken. Salud, his fue lo único de ahí, todo su third person correct. Muy bien trabajo. Vamos con la siguiente. Eric. Zulma o yo, o yo. A mí o Zulma. Oh. Oh, yo. <laughs> Dele, Eric. Ok. Eh, Blanquis routine. Blanquis is wife da da Osvaldo. Ok. Her wake out six a.m. She put your cloth, cloth, cloth. Her cloth. Her cloth. Mm -hmm. Then goes to the chicken and cook breakfast. Yeah. Why take the breakfast? Listen to ra to the radio. <laughs> then she she opened her business because. Her stylist and words all day. Okay. Finish. All right, okay. and then Sul. Eric's mother's routines. Mm -hmm. Her mother get up. Six, I am his, his mother. His, mm -hmm. his mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. His mother get up six I am. Then she way she way. Cap your ground together. I mean the your hair. Okay. Cap hair ground together. She prepared brand spice. Then the comes the hair, hair that clean the house. Finish. Clean the house or cleans the house? Clean the house. Cleans. Con ese. Clean. Clean. Okay. All right. Thank you. Very good job. Remember one. Si me fijé en los tres escenarios, algunos que se les iba es el posesivo. Posesivo para suyo de él o su de él es hit. Cuando están okay. hablando en femenino es hair. Ok. Uh -huh. um, fuera de eso, room number one, todo excelente. We're right on point. Vamos ahora con la sala dos. Tenemos a Almita Martínez y Carmen Hernández, por favor. Ok. Um, Catherine daily routine. Catherine is a sister, Carmen. Okay, Carmen's sister. Carmen's sister. Is her sister, her days start at five and she makes her, her homework. After that, 
she take a shower and go to the kitchen to prepare her breakfast. And then she gets ready to go her job, dispensa familiar. She work at dispensa like a cashier. When she leaves her work, go to her home to take a lunch and continues making her homework. She studies to become English teacher at University Modular Abierta. It's, All right. It's and then, right. Then Carmen is going to tell you. Sí, ahorita. Celeste is daily routine. Celeste is the daughter of Almita, and her daily routine is uh, Celeste wakes up at 6 a.m. She takes a shower. She never takes a breakfast. Just goes to the university. She studies medicine uh, almost always. She stays in a hospital making practices. And she helps Almita to, ca to care her mother and her dog. dog. All right. That's all. Thank you, Alma, Carmen, very good job describing third person's daily routine, right? Ocuparon los posesivos correctos y también la estructura está bien. Así que buen trabajo, sala 2. Thank you. Y vamos Thank a escuchar you. a la sala 3. Tenemos a César, Heriberto y a Luis Escarate, por favor. Adelante. What is your grandfather routine, Heriberto? Uh, okay, he is very healthy riser. He wa he wakes up to five a.m. prepares to go to work. Eat breakfast at eight a.m. Return at home at home at no for lunch. He likes to to take a walk in the afternoon. Uh, what is the routine of your mother? First, she wakes up at 5 a.m. Later, she cleans her house for one hour. After, she goes to her work in a hospital. And after she she eats lunch with her companions, the hospital, and she comes back at 5 p.m. And finally, she sleeps at 9 p.m. All right, very good descriptions in third person, Cesar, Luis. You did it, everything in third person, um, uh, what is it? Feminine, right? Y ocuparon los conceptos correctos de las estructuras y también ocuparon los possessives correct for the feminine, right? Así que muy buen trabajo con eso, Cesar, Luis. Very good job. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. Le voy a compartir pantalla, denme un minuto. Just a moment. Okay, and then get it back up. All right. So we have an exercise in here, and you're going to change the verb to fit the subject, right? Van a ocupar el verbo que está en paréntesis en la forma correcta para que haga sentido con la oración. Por ejemplo, London, verbo to be in England. ¿Cómo sería la oración? London is in England. Correct. London is in England. Number two, the summer. Is hot. Exactly. Hot. The summer is hot. Number three, she. She's. Uh -uh. Drives very well. She drives. Uh -huh. She, she drives. drives 
Yes. Very well. Perfect. Number four, they open. Exactly. They open at the they store open. at eight. Okay. Number five, Linda is, is a very is mm -hmm. a very pretty girl. It's a very okay. pretty girl. Yes. Number six, I I have. Okay. Correct. Have. Ahí no lo cambio. <laughs> very good. Number well, seven. I have mm -hmm. water boils at boils. Yes. one hundred. Yay, water degree. boils. Water yeah. freezes. 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 Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Water freezes at zero degree. Mm -hmm. My sister, sister speaks. Speaks. It speaks English. Speaks English, correct. Then we have number 10. He has. Yes, he, he has. has a big apartment. A big apartment. Mm -hmm. Correct. Number 11. A triangle has, has. exactly has. mismo scenario. It has right number twelve. My birthday is is in June. In yeah. Correct. Number thirteen. Books has have have plural. Books have pages. Uh. Right. Si fuera en singular acá, te sería has. No, pero no. Number fourteen. Dogs. Uh, are yeah. good friends. Uh -huh. Correct. Dogs are good friends. Number 15, I what? works. I work hard. Yes. I work hard. Correct. All right. So we were talking about daily routines in third person. Estaban practicando hasta hace un momento daily routines en tercera persona. A continuación, vamos a hacer un ejercicio en el que ustedes van a escribir. Van a escribir y luego van a narrar. Cada uno individual. What I eat in a day. What I eat in a day. Everything I eat in a day. Okay. Everything I eat in a day. Así se llama, el, ese es el título de lo que ustedes van a hablar ahorita. Everything I eat in a day. For example, presten atención, lo voy a hacer yo primero y luego cada uno de ustedes lo va a ir haciendo. Le voy a dar tiempo para que lo escriba. Okay. Everything I eat in a day. So, hay un, de hecho, hay, un, hay una serie de videos en YouTube que así se llaman. Everything I eat in a day. Hi, my name is Vicky and this is everything I eat in a day. Así se presenta. Pero de famosos, por lo general. Y ustedes ven lo que los famosos comen en un día. <laughs> right? But in this case, we're going we're gonna to do with that normal food. Okay? So, my name is Vicky and this is everything I eat in a day. Okay? When I wake up, the moment that I open my eyes every morning, I drink a glass of water before before I brush my teeth, before I do anything else. The first thing I do when I open my eyes is I drink a glass of water. This is because I am always dehydrated at night. I feel like I'm dying at, <laughs> from thirst. My mother said at night. I'm so when I wake up, I drink water. I usually, y aquí ocupamos adverbios de frecuencia, okay? I usually wait for about one hour after I wake up to prepare coffee, okay? I don't drink coffee immediately. I wait for maybe one hour after I wake up and then I prepare coffee because they say it's bad to drink coffee the moment that you wake up, so don't do that, <laughs> okay? And then after I prepare my coffee, then I start thinking about what I'm going to eat for breakfast. Usually, well, no, pretty much every day. I like to eat eggs, eggs and another type of protein. Sometimes I eat eggs and bacon or eggs and chorizo or eggs and ham or eggs and vegetables. It doesn't matter, but I always eat eggs, all right? This is not Monday to Friday. This is every single day of my life. I eat eggs in the morning because I like that. I don't like to eat cereal. I don't like to eat like chocolate of frisbees or anything like that. I don't like that because I feel it's not good for my stomach. They are not, milk is not good for my stomach. So I cannot, I don't drink milk. Then after I have my breakfast in the morning, I usually wait for like maybe two hours, two or three hours. And then I prepare myself. No prepara mi misma. I prepare myself. A snack. Sometimes I have fruit. 
and I'm that my snack fruits. But sometimes I don't have fruit, so I have to eat a cookie or sweet bread, or if possible, vegetables. I don't like to eat vegetables as snack. Oh, but sometimes I have almonds, almendras. Sometimes I have almonds and walnuts, almendras y nuez. But that's not every day because I'm not rich. <laughs> okay. Then for lunch, the lunch can be different every day. The lunch can be different, can vary. For example, today I ate meat and vegetables, ground meat, carne molida y vegetales, ground meat and vegetables with rice, and of course, cheese. I need cheese in all of my food, como queso en cada tiempo de comida, because I'm crazy for cheese. Usually in the afternoon, I don't do a snack because I don't have time. I work all day and into the night, so I don't have time to do a snack in the afternoon. But when I have the possibility to eat snack, I like to prepare something like jalapenos. <laughs> jalapenos Viana with salt and lemon and chili sauce, something like that. But it's not every day, it's just something. And that's everything I eat in a day. I don't have dinner. Well, not regularly. I don't have dinner regularly because if I eat dinner, it makes me sleepy. So I don't eat dinner on the days that I have to teach. I have to be active so I don't have dinner. Okay? That's what everything I eat in a day. Eso es todo lo que como un día. Ahora, ustedes, cuéntame todo lo que coman en un día. Y si se fijaron, no es como estricto, ¿verdad? Como a veces esto, si no hay esto, cada día cambia, después, más tarde, ¿ok? No es una oración fija la que me van a ir haciendo, dándome horas, no. ¿okay? La idea es que lo platiquen. ¿Ok? Who wants to go first? ¿Quién quiere ir primero? Esto no lo tienen que anotar. Realmente es, es algo que pueden hacer así, en vivo. Porque solo van a hablar de comida, cosas que comen. Y solo van a agregar frequency adverbs to that. En simple present, ¿ok? ¿Quién quiere ir primero? Veamos. Do we have volunteers? Are there volunteers? ¿Qué va? <laughs> Tengo miedo. <laughs> Pero ok, lo voy a intentar. Ese es el espíritu, Carmen, muy bien. <risa> Vamos, yo la voy okay. a ir ayudando, no te preocupes. Ok. Um, what I eat in a day. Uh -huh. Ok, when I wake up, the first thing I do is take a water. Uh -huh. And after that, I brush my teeth. And I go to the kitchen to prepare my breakfast. Regularly, I eat uh, eggs with vegetables or uh, cereal with milk or over milk. It's uh, avena. Oat. Oat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oats, avena. Oats, okay. Mm -hmm. After that, I go to my job. Mm -hmm. And I do ev everything I have to do in my job. Mm -hmm. And I come back to my house at noon to oh. eat the lunch. Uh, hey, occasionally, nice. I eat chicken with mm -hmm. vegetables because I'm a diet okay. uh, currently. Mm -hmm. So I have to eat uh the much vegetables I can. So uh, in the afternoon, I come back to my work too. And after that, I go to the gym to make some of exercise. And then I come back to, I return to my home mm -hmm. and prepare my, my dinner. Um, Quiero ver. 
pupusas. <ríe> Unos No, nuggets. ejotes con huevo. Green bean. Green bean Ok. and egg. Ok. Green beef, beans and eggs. Uh -huh. And after that, I prepare myself to stay in uh, English classes. Uh -huh. And I go to my bed at nine o'clock uh, before. No, antes de tomar una. Uh -huh. Before? Uh -huh. uh, before to go to my bed, I take a shower. Just wait All right. Much. And that's Perfect. all. I love it. Perfect. Es igual que los videos. <laughs> very good. It was very fluent. Very natural also. And you use the correct structures and simple present, right? Muy buen trabajo, Carmen. Está bastante, bastante bien. Do we have another volunteer? ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir todo lo que comen un día? You can invent also. También pueden inventar. No problem. Sí, en todo lo que Carmen eh, nos comentó, más de alguno tuvo que haber preparado el estudio. Veamos. Everything you eat in a day before. <laughs> ok. Then, if you don't have it ready, si no lo tienen, no se preocupen, se lo voy a dejar para mañana. Mañana es viernes y es día de full práctica. Recuerden que el viernes se practica todo lo que se ve en la semana. Y le agregamos lo del anterior y lo vamos sumando, ¿ok? Así que es práctica más que, más que clase, ¿ok? Así que preparen eso para mañana. Everything I eat in a day. Preparen eso. Así como lo hizo Carmen ahorita, ¿ok? Den detalles, hagan comentarios. No como esto porque no me gusta. O a veces quiero esto pero no tengo tiempo, etc. ¿Ok? Háganlo lo más largo posible, lo más detallado. Desayuno, almuerzo, cena, así como snacks en la mañana, así como snacks en la tarde, no como porque no me queda tiempo, o a veces me toca comprar y compro esto, etc. ¿Ok? Denme tantos detalles como pueden. Asegúrense de mantenerlo en presente simple lo más posible. ¿Ok? Y con eso empezaríamos mañana. ¿Ok? Excepto Carmen que ya lo hizo ahora. <ríe> ¿Ok? Entonces, asegurémonos de eso. Prepárenlo con tiempo mañana. Lo más detallado posible, lo más largo posible. Ocupen todos los frequency adverbs que puedan incluir. ¿Ok? Y si tienen dudas de vocabulario, me escriben ahí en el grupo y con gusto les ayudo. ¿De acuerdo? Así que eso sería para iniciar la clase mañana. ¿All right? Les voy a pasar lista. Please be ready when you hear your phone. Se me olvidó pasarles lista temprano, así que nos quedamos con una vez esta noche. <ríe> Vamos de un minuto sobre la tarde. ¿Ok? Vamos con... Ah, oh, no está en mi lista. Esta es Alma Yanet Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Armi Skinny Díaz. Carlos Eduardo García. César Heriberto Roca. Present. Thank you. César Omar Serna. Cruz del Carmen Hernández. Thank Dor you. Thank you. Doris Cecilia. Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Here. Thank you. José Mauricio Martínez. José Jonathan Roca. <coughs> Enrique Escarate. Mel Present. Thank you, Luis. Melissa Lisset. Oswaldo Ernesto Salguero. Present. Thank you. Olda Lisset Boyad. William Ernesto Magaña. Zulma Evangelina Magaña. Present. Thank you. Y Zulma Noemí Linares. Ok, con eso terminamos entonces. You can go to sleep. Que tengan un buen día mañana. Asegúrense de hacer la tarea, por favor. Escriban y luego me cuentan. Everything I eat in a day. Ok, no vayamos a venir con excusas, por favor. Everything. Lo, uh -huh, con detalle. Queremos ver esos videos. No me que aquí lo haga hacer en vivo. Solo prepárenlo y repasen, ¿de acuerdo? Si tienen dudas o necesitan ayuda, me escriben en WhatsApp. Yo estoy a la orden. Ok, que tengan okay, un buen día. thank you. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. See you good tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow in the night. Yes. Tomorrow at night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night.